you are also able to decide on what type you want the ledger to be connected to the building with, if it is so connected. You can select the ledger tab up here, and then we have the connector type here. So this is a wood with siding of some sort. So you are able to use the Simpson SDWS screws or the DWH screws or lag screws or through bolts. So in the picture to the right, you can see if I pick lag screws, the picture over here will adjust to lag screws. It talks about all the information on the ledger itself here, what size it is, and the connection down on this side. If you scroll up a little tiny bit, you can see how it is connected in elevation. There's a general note and so forth. This would be on its own page within the permit drawings. You can pick different sizes of the connector, or you can choose a different size for the rim board itself. So you can see this will actually come up now a little tiny bit and almost be even. Also, you can, when the building is a different type, let's go to say brick veneer, well the screws aren't available. So you can see it automatically switches to the through bolts. And if I switch back to the ledger designer tab, through bolts are only available in Canada at this point. Uh, in the US you can also use a BVLZ connector. So that's the ledger tab itself. You can modify size of connectors, the uh, type of connector and the rim board size. Also structural sheathing can be adjusted as well.